Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Top 10 Cartoon Characters You Didn't Know Were Real Did cartoons make up your morning while growing up? If they did, then I bet you watched a whole bunch of quirky characters that made you laugh. Some were great, some were meh. But hey, it was all in the spirit of adventure, right? But did you know that some of those cartoon characters were actually based off real people? The writers on these shows are human, so they must have gotten their inspiration from personal experiences, right? With that being said, we'll be taking a look at 10 of your favorite childhood cartoon characters that were inspired by people who lived and loved on planet Earth. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. That was pretty. Little birdies, that's what you're gonna be seeing real soon. Be right back. You back I know you're real sunny. Number 10, Popeye, Frank Rocky Fiegel. I bet this fist fighting, spinach loving sailor was your childhood hero. Who doesn't want to have muscles the size of two bazookas? Here's a fun fact, by the way. Did you know that Popeye was highly televised in the 1940s and 50s as a health initiative to convince young kids to eat their veggies? Now that's taking nutrition to a whole other level. Well, I'll admit, I did eat a lot of spinach as a kid because of this fella right here. The real inspiration of the character Popeye actually hails from Chester, Illinois, a local man by the name of Frank Rocky Fiegel. Frank lived in the early 20th century, and even though he was small in stature, he was one of the toughest guys around. He was a toothless fellow who loved to smoke his pipe. Oh, and get into a lot of fights, and I mean a lot. And that's why Popeye never backs down from slinging his fists. Nevertheless, Frank had a very soft spot for children, and even though he didn't have any of his own, he was always being the kindest fella to them. He passed away in 1947 and was buried in a lot with the headstone marked with the iconic cartoon character. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9, Ursula, Divine. Admit it, if you're a 90s baby, then I bet you watched a good amount of Little Mermaid. Boy, did I love Princess Ariel. And that's all we're going to talk about that subject. Moving on, while we love the princess, I'm pretty sure many of you hated the tentacled villain Ursula the Sea Witch. Here's a fun fact about her though, did you know that she was actually inspired by actor Harris Glenn Milstead, famous for his 80s drag persona, Divine? In fact, Divine appeared in quite a number of movies spearheaded by Artur John Waters. These movies went on to form an integral part of LGBT culture and history. And now that you know this, can you see the likeness and resemblance that Ursula has to Divine? Number 8, Edna Mode, Edith Head. To this day, I'm still a die-hard fan of The Incredibles and literally have all their merch sitting in my attic. Call it The Incredibles Lair if you like. Indeed, this movie is a timeless gem amidst a sea of bland animations that have been released over the years. And one of the most fascinating characters of the movies was Edna, the eccentric fashion designer who designed the costumes for the popular superheroes. If you're a fashion aficionado, it's a no-brainer that people credit Edna Mode's design to Edith Head, arguably the most fashionable costume designer in the world. Her signature style had no comparison. With round glasses and the black bob cut, we can pretty much see the resemblance. Number 7, Vultures from the Jungle Book, The Beatles. The creators of The Jungle Book were pretty excited to get The Beatles to do the voices of the vultures. However, when they approached The Beatles, that offer was immediately declined by John Lennon. Despite the refusal, that didn't stop the animators from modeling the famous cartoon characters to resemble John Lennon, Ringo Starr, George Harrison, and Paul McCartney. Not only do the vultures look like the legendary members, the movie directors even got them to share a Liverpudlian accent like them. Now that's dedication. Number 6, Betty Boop, Helen Kane. While you may not have watched the early episodes of Betty Boop growing up, she is no doubt still one of the most famous cartoon characters to this day. As for Betty Boop, she was originally created as a caricature of Helen Kane. 
Helen was an American singer who rose to fame and stardom by imitating the style of a black singer by the name Baby Esther Jones. Despite the fact that Betty was originally modeled as an anthropomorphic French poodle, she became so popular that the creators ended up transforming her into a full human. This deeply insulted Helen Kane, who went on to sue the creator, Max Fleischer, and Paramount for exploiting her likeness and personality. Unfortunately for her, she lost the lawsuit, and we still have Betty Boop to this day. Number 5. Milhouse Van Houten – Josh Saviano Most of us are quite familiar with the nearsighted, gullible, and socially awkward character from The Simpsons, Milhouse Van Houten, right? Despite the fact that he was named after one of the most controversial U.S. presidents, Richard Nixon, whose middle name was Milhouse, the actual character's likeness was based off Josh Saviano's Paul Pfeiffer, whom the creators aimed to caricature. In fact, Milhouse is our best pick of the day. Aww, aren't the two adorable? Honestly, you can tell the resemblance straight away. So I have to give props to the cartoonist, who no doubt nailed the look. Number 4. Mr. Burns, Barry Diller Let's face it, most of us know all of the Simpson characters offhand. For the past 30 years, The Simpsons has graced our television screens and has been an integral part of our entertainment. It doesn't matter if you're 20 years old or 50 years old. One character, who is actually the embodiment of greed, is also modeled after someone famous. In case you didn't know, Mr. Burns' appearance is actually based on Fox founder Barry Diller. We're not sure how the creators of the show could have the guts to create one of the most despised Simpson characters after their own boss. I mean, that's a ticket to get fired, right? But surprisingly enough, Barry Diller was a good sport about it, and the character has made memorable appearances all throughout the years. Number 3. Mr. Magoo – W.C. Fields Here's yet another character from our childhoods that is definitely classic. Remember Mr. Magoo? If you can't seem to refresh your memory, he is the short, wealthy retiree who manages to get into all kinds of trouble because of his extreme short-sightedness, no pun intended. Unfortunately, he refuses to admit that this is a problem. Fortunately for the old man, he manages to escape out of all of his problems without as much as a single scratch on him. According to John Hubley, the animation director, Mr. Magoo was actually the combination of two people from his childhood. One of them was his uncle, Harry Woodruff, while the other one was American comedian W.C. Fields. Looking at photographs of the comedian Fields, one can't help but notice all the similarities. Number 2. Harley Quinn from Batman the Animated Series – Arlene Sorkin Wow. I bet this is pretty surprising for many people, huh? Maybe it's because we're so caught up in Harley Quinn's antics, we've never bothered to find out more about her history. Well, Harley Quinn, also known as Dr. Harleen Francis Quinzel, was actually inspired by a real-life person. Weird, huh? What's even weirder is that the actual person voiced her. According to how the story goes, the character's creator, Paul Dini, first visualized Harley as the Joker's sidekick when he was home one day watching Days of Our Lives, which happened to be a soap in which Arlene Sorkin, a good friend of Dini, appeared in a dream sequence. In that scene, Sorkin was a court jester. That's where he got the inspiration for Harley. Immediately, Dini called Sorkin up and asked her if she would like to do the character, to which Sorkin replied with a resounding yes. No doubt she was born to play her. Number 1. Krusty the Clown – James Allen, a.k.a. Rusty Nails Krusty the Clown just might be one of the most weird but interesting characters in the entire Springfield universe. Krusty the Clown is the addiction-riddled, burnt-out, and cynical clown who will do anything and everything for a dollar, including owning and operating one of the biggest fast food chains in all of Springfield, the Krusty Burger, where he's seen frequently starring in ads for. It turns out that this epic character is actually inspired by James Allen, aka Rusty Nails, a real-life clown, 
who cartoonist Matt Groening watched while growing up. Now finding out that fact is truly amazing. So folks, we've come to the very end of this video. And I've just got to ask, do you know of any other cartoon characters that were modeled after real life people? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that will probably still exist until the very end of time? Click on any of the fantastic videos you see on the screen. As always, thank you all so very much for watching.